Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. President Haga Inde Ichlema fires Chus Kasanda, appoints Cornelius Mwitwa. Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. President Haka Inde Ichlema fires Chus Kasanda, appoints Cornelius Mwitwa. President Haka Inde Ichlema has terminated the appointment of Chus Kasanda as Minister of Information and Media. State House Chief Communication Specialist, Kleson Hamasaka, said, the head of state has since appointed Southern Province Minister Cornelius Mwitwa as Minister of Information and Media. President has in exercise of the powers vested in him, pursuant to Article 116, one of the Constitution of the Republic of Zambia, appointed Honorable Cornelius Mwitwa as Minister of Information and Media. President Hitlema has since transferred Honorable Credo Nanjua to be Minister of Southern Province and has since appointed Honorable Princess Kasune as Minister for Central Province pursuant to Article 116, one of the Constitution, Mr. Hamasaka said. He said President Hitlema has further removed Dr. Anna Songolo from the Office of Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Livestock and Fisheries pursuant to Article 270 of the Constitution. Mr. Hamasaka said, the President has also transferred the Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Information and Media, Kenneth Kalunga, to Cabinet Office, and has since appointed Tabu Kawana as Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Information and Media. The President has also, in exercise of the powers vested in him, under Article 249, one of the Constitution of the Republic of Zambia, appointed Dr. Ron Mwambwa as Auditor General of the Republic of Zambia, subject to ratification by the National Assembly, he said. And before I disappear like smoke, my lovely viewers, here is Prophet Shepard M. Mesala, Prophet's confirmation. Watch this video. May God bless you. Uh, may God bless you. Uh, this is uh, Prophet Shepard M. Mesala, uh, the prophet of this generation. You as all over the world, as I am here, just to speak a few words concerning uh, the breaking news which you have heard about uh, the Minister of Information. Children of God and all people who follows men of God, the prophets, and those who follows uh, uh, the prophets of the old. If there is one thing God cannot allow is that person who mocks the prophets of God. When you mock a prophet of God, you are mocking God not mocking a prophet whenever you see a prophet of God you are seeing a spirit of God let me tell you what happened uh, on Chushka Sanda with uh, the director of uh, IBA the former director of IBA um, I started the program of getting a license of uh, Mesala TV.
and that license of Mesala TV, it was a Christian channel. I was qualified. I had everything. Everything was in place. I made the studio. I used my money to do all those things so that those things can be can be done. But now the problem was uh, and the entire group. They frustrated the whole process so that I cannot get that license. Let me tell you, children of God, they did all kind of things. I just received a call from Chushka Sanda, the, the, the former Minister of Information. She called me on a phone call. She started blasting me, insulting me. I told Chushka Sanda saying, if I be a prophet of God, you can't speak such nonsense to a man of God. These words you have spoken upon my life, I raise a case upon your life. You shall never sit in that office. She thought I was joking. Problems started happening in our, in our office. Mysterious things started happening in our office. She wasn't wise enough to realize that I don't have... I, she, she wasn't wise enough to realize that she is having a case by insulting the man of God. She didn't realize all those things that she is having a case by insulting a man of God. She took it so personal, thinking because she has money, because the husband has been doing businesses in the in in the in the, in, the, in, the, in the government and all that. Let me tell you, when a case comes upon your life, even your spouse will be affected. Even everything around you will be affected. When a man of God curses you, a prophet curses you, everything around you will receive a curse. As I am speaking, even their business contracts, they are receiving problems. It's not just being fired, but even their businesses, they are under a curse. Why whoever insults a prophet of God cannot just go freely? Cannot just go freely. Whenever a prophet of God is being insulted, you are insulting the Holy Spirit. You are insulting the Holy Spirit. Whenever you insult a man of God, you are insulting the Holy Spirit. So, who is attracting a case? Whenever you speak something concerning men of God, which is bad, you are getting a case. So, when she did all those things, she didn't know what she was doing. She called me, you a prophet, you a. You a prophet, you a. Fish of all, Imona. Muli in country, Zambia. Whom do you think you are in this country? She told me all those words. I told her, if I be a prophet of God, Tushka Sanda, you never stay in that office. And everything you touch, it shall fall apart. For insulting the spirit of God, for insulting a man of my caliber, a voice of God, a voice which made UPND to be in authority, I declared a weight. And that way, it has affected her. Not it, everything she's touching is falling apart just by insulting one prophet. This is why you saw you people who were there on the crossover. I talked about it. Although I was speaking in parables, 
and those people who knew me you you saw me talking about it how things were what and all that let me tell you even to all those people who are used to insult men of god men of god are not people to be mocked if you are not in agreement with them i can see uh my sister my friend Lillian mutambo she's watching yeah so when prophets they are speaking you begin to mock them then you want all those things to begin to happen you want it to happen so Cassandra was insulting because she thought I'm highly, she's highly connected to the president. She was looking on the relationship she had with the president. She was looking on the relationship the husband has with the president. But let me tell you, all the things they have been touching, they have been collapsing. Why? By insulting who? A prophet of God. I've seen even people just mere individuals look on those who insults prophets how their lives become and i'll speak all these things me when i release a prophecy and then you begin to insult my prophetic word be lady for the consequences when you see me i go quiet i've not responded when i release a prophecy don't think you have silenced me but the outcome of the prophetic will come to pass if there is something god has given me is the spirit to speak what will come to happen even when i talk about saying no i'm seeing a celebrity a musician is dying and then you pay people they start insulting me let me tell you that those prophecies will come to pass i've got nothing 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 to hide or to tell you no because when you pay comedians they insult you think that have handled the situation i am not such a prophet i am a prophet of results one of my friend who is an mp he called to shikasanda because one of my friend was there in the uh during the crossover night when i raised that case one of my friend called kasanda you let's go and apologize to prophet shepherd m mesala let's go and apologize chush kasanda refused i cannot go and apologize to prophet mesala who is prophet mesala i will not go and apologize we are so connected to the president i said okay you can be physically connected to the president but the power of god is more above than even presidents the power of god is more powerful than the presidents of 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 any country when god speaks through his prophet the wise reason i always say there are prophets you can mock there are prophets you can insult there are prophets you can think who can you can speak anything but you find that there are those when they speak or you attack them you insult them the consequences will come upon your life there was that lady when i was prophesying saying haka inde i will be president of zambia a certain lady took it as politics insulted me on facebook through comments what happened to that lady she died she died just by insulting a man of god on a comment and she received the case and she died people in the copper belt they said why have you done this it's not me pride destroys don't think when you become a minister you become vice president you become president you think now you are above the authority of god let me tell you 
Under the sun, there are two authorities. There is the authority of man and the authority of God. The authority of God is being ministered by the powerful men of God, whom God has entrusted to declare a word, and the word comes to pass. This is the reason why myself, I don't fear anybody, because I carry the authority. How many attempts which they have tried to kill me? How many attempts in this country which they have tried to, to, to take my life? Why have they not managed? I am covered by the blood of Jesus. I'm protected by the blood of Jesus. So these things you are seeing, how many incompetence ministers do we have? We have a lot of incompetence ministers. A lot. When we mention UPND is is a is 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 a, a bunch of full of ministers who are incompetent. So the reason why Cassandra she's fired, she's under a case by touching the anointed one. She's not the only one who has been fired. Even the director of IBA, the director of IBA, when I reached there, she sent her boys to tell me saying. He tell him to go back and apply to to his own to his own house. Where is that he, he lady? Who was the former? Uh, who was the 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 director? She has been fired. She has been fired just by sending away a prophet in a in an arrogant way. Let me tell you, Zambians. These Zambian prophets you mock, you can mock them. But there are those in the same land, like Prophet Mesala, you mock them by your own risk. You touch them by your own risk. I told all these things to Edgar Chagwarungu. I told him, I am a prophet who speaks the mind of God. Where is Edgar Rungu this time? He's no more. He's not in power again. So even to you, MPs, ministers, in this new Don government, PS, police officers, let me tell you one thing. Let me warn you one thing to everyone who is watching me. There are two types of authority. And there is the authority of God and there is the authority of man. As prophets, we speak the mind of God. We carry the authority which is above presidents, which is above kings, which is above the, 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 the natural power. We carry the power of authority. When we declare a curse on a nation, a nation can be cursed. As I am speaking, Zambia is under a case. The whole leadership needs to repent. Because they will try so many things and things will not work. Because they are learning under a case. There is no way where a man can mock a prophet of God. You Just because you are a bank manager or you are a minister or you are what? Or you are a successful businessman. Let me tell you, there are two types of, this, uh, of authority. The authority of money, the authority of this world, the authority of God. Men of God, they can create you. And men of God, again, they can destroy you. There is a prophet in the Bible where children just mocked him. And he cursed them. They died. The Bible is clear, touch not my anointed one. So, Cassandra, the only thing I can tell you right now, if you are wise enough, come to church. Come to our church. You have my number. My number, Mrs. Cassandra, you have it. Because for you to call me, you have my number. You have my private phone number. Just call me. Just call me, you come to church. Because even you, you will affect your husband's businesses. You will affect your husband's businesses because of pride. 
they don't mock prophets. No matter how, how how powerful you have become on earth, they don't mock prophets. Prophets, they are too dangerous to be mocked. Not even a president can mock a prophet. Not even authorities can mock a prophet. A prophet can speak a case and the case begins to learn on a nation. Not these prophets where you go and get two kwacha, where you go and get three kwacha, you give them three kwacha, you give them four kwacha, you give them five kwacha, and then when you give them those, they are saying everything you say, they are saying yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Let me tell you, they are prophets who have authority. They are prophets whom you cannot give those two quarters. They are prophets whom you cannot buy with those 50 quarters. They are prophets who are ordained by the power of the Holy Spirit. And when they speak, they speak the mind of God. When they declare a word, they declare it under the authority of the Spirit of God. And then many men of the people think like, because I, I'm always quiet, I'm not speaking, so they think like maybe I'm such a prophet, whereby he, I, I'm looking for five quarter, three quarter. Let me tell you, he, as, I was, as, as I always speak, I touched my first one million at 26, at 26 years old. That's when I touched one million dollars. So I always talk about what God has, has done in my life. And you are cross, you know that I'm not a prophet who is, who is looking for, for, for one quarter, three quarter, four quarter. I'm a blessed prophet. I have everything already. I have everything already. 90% of these new Don government people, they are, they are my friends. 90% of them. If I wanted money or I wanted business, it's very possible for me to get it. But I, I don't want that because I carry the authority which is above every power. I carry the spirit of God. When I declare something, I'm declaring it coming from God. So, you people who mock prophets, even when you see people are worshipping God, they are praying, you begin to mock them, you think like maybe they, are, they, they don't have anything to do. Let me tell you, you will be attracting cases. You will be attracting cases you will be attracting cases. So this, our sister, because of pride, arrogance, she thought she is unshakable because my husband has got a good relationship with the president because I'm also having a good relationship with the president. So I am unshakable. You, Mesala, what can you tell me? The same Mesala the same prophet shepherd M. Mesala declared on this soil of Zambia for Haka Inde Ichlema to be president. And the same Mesala can declare a word of bringing confusion and not even his intelligence can able to contain when the spirit of confusion fall on this ground. I carry the spirit of God. I carry the authority of God. I am untouchable. No man can shake me because of the spirit of God which I have. Ask them. Ask how many people have fought me. How many people have tried to kill me. You ask. How many gunshots have I survived? No man can touch a prophet of God. No one. No one. No one. No one can touch a prophet of God. If you are used to those prophets who are begging you because you are driving a vitz, continue going there. You go there. You, you go there. If you are comfortable with the prophets, you are always giving 50 kwacha. Continue giving them 50 kwachas. But in every generation, there are those prophets of God. When they speak, the heavens will act on their weights. The earth will obey their weights. And this is Prophet Shepherd M. Mesala, a prophet who speaks and the things begins to happen. And the things begins to happen. And the things begins to happen. And you shall see.
the next moves which God will begin to do in this uh, nation of Zambia. This is our prophet Shepard Dem Mesala. May God bless you and may God always uh, be with you. So this is the story of which happened. So that woman who was stopping the, the license of Mesala TV fired the director who was uh, who chased me when I went to take an application fired. There are so many people whom I've seen who have fallen just by fighting a prophet of God. Mesala TV was just to bring the gospel, to, to spread the gospel. It wasn't a commercial TV, it was a religious TV station, which I wanted to be spreading the gospel of God. But because of pride, pride has brought in a lot of uh, things. And uh, let me tell you, uh, children of God, no matter how you go on top, don't think you have gone above the authority of God. Every child, every person, every country is under the authority of God. And this is what we are representing as prophets. We are representing that authority of God. Someone is saying, so you are now happy. Yes! Why should I, why should, why should I not be happy? Because as we are there to position people, we are there to make the word of God to be fulfilled. So that even people can learn one and two things. We allow certain things to happen so that we teach others. So that we are teachers of the word. And we should do it by example. We should do practice. We should make those things we are talking about to happen. So that you see what we are talking about. So, children of God, this is our prophet Shepard Mesala. May God bless you and may God always be with you. And uh, we will continue speaking the mind of God. And we shall continue telling you uh, things which uh, will be happening. You have never missed any prophets. May God bless you. Uh, true, my game changer. May God bless you. E, e, so, da, 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 da. so, this is what happened. I think by now... She's regretting my best friend, one of the MPs, contacted her, wanted her to bring her to church so that she can ask for forgiveness. She was pride, but anyway, any person has got his own uh, opinion on whatever he uh, is doing. So I was wondering, no TV station, Mesala TV is coming. Mesala TV station is coming. I'll start the process again. I'll start the process again so that we conclude with uh, Mesala TV. And no one can stop the movement of God. No one can stop what God has started. And what starts with God ends with God. So this is a story between uh, uh, me and uh, Chushka Sanda. May God bless you. May God always be with you. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.